Well, hey, modelers. Uh, this is Alan. And, uh, uh, in my last video that, uh, I'll be putting on YouTube here shortly with this one here, uh, I kind of went over, uh, a little bit, a little bit of the, uh, layout and what I had gotten done. And then, uh, I, uh, my, uh, little bout with an illness that I had, uh, some of you have may have been touched by it as well, and that's COVID. Uh, but uh, we talked about that in the last video, and in this video, this is all about uh, uh, running uh, my uh, uh, cabooses. Uh, this is uh, what I call the uh, uh, my uh, uh, SP, uh, with UP and a few other, the railroads that, uh, merged in, uh, that, uh, merged in or UP, uh, bought and brought into, uh, their system, <clears throat> uh, the Western Pacific, um, the Rio Grande, um, uh, the Missouri Pacific, and of course the Southern Pacific, and you can see right there, there is uh, uh, Southern Pacific 1996, and uh, we are going to align the turnout. Let's see here, right there. We're gonna learn. We're gonna get that uh, aligned. And we will adjust, let's see, we'll adjust this one. So just that uh, turnout is aligned for the main. And now we got the main open. And we should be able to start 1996 here in just a second or two. Give me just a second to get this going. Okay. We got the lights uh, on the uh, 1996. Now we're going to start her up. <clears throat> and the first caboose that you see uh, behind uh, <clears throat> 1996 is my uh, Southern Pacific 1235. It is the oldest piece of in-scale equipment that I've had uh, circa 1991. That's, that's how old that caboose is. I've had that caboose since 1991. I've held on to her for that long. It's 2022. <clears throat> I've done some mods uh, to uh, 1235. You can see the... Uh, the antenna up there towards the back you got the the light uh, bar or the light uh, package on it and so the 1235 had the single light package and then uh, uh, had the silver uh, antenna back there and so like I say I haven't done very much else to that caboose other than just uh, put uh, uh, better wheels, uh, and then I put the, uh, microtrains, uh, upgrade kit to where I could, uh, run it with my other cabooses and, uh, and, uh, run it with my other rolling stock. So, uh, uh, it's, uh, about, uh, uh probably about 30, 31, 32 years old. So, uh, good old caboose that uh, uh, still uh, can roll down the 
<clears throat> reels with the best of them. So let's see if uh, okay. Let's roll out 1996. Behind uh, my 1235 is my uh, SP4709 uh, Railroad Police uh, Caboose. 1945, my Cotton Belt uh, 83, Southern Pacific 1776, my Cotton Belt uh, 68, Southern Pacific 1974, 1948, and there's my uh, older uh, Southern Pacific, uh, which is a uh, an Atlas II through 25, my Rio Grande uh, 0 1400 uh, that does uh, that has been seen uh, maybe in Denver doing uh, yard work, and then I've got my flat car. That's my um, GBW uh, a Rio Grande GBW uh, flat uh, fish belly. Uh, uh, to kind of spread the cabooses out there a little bit and you can see my UP uh, UP special caboose my Missouri or Mopac caboose and my WP 431 and then there's my transfer cabooses I got 21 cabooses and the flight car. See the engine going through the slight curve there, or the short shoot. I call it the short shoot curve. All the cabooses uh, made it through the uh, uh, through the curves there. Okay, make sure everything is uh, good here on the passing siding and we'll run it through the passing siding. And that's all my transfer cabooses right there in the caboose parade. I've got some more cabooses there. That's my Santa Fe's, but we kind of wanted to do the uh, Southern Pacific uh, UP and uh, the lines that are with... Uh, uh, with the UP or whatever and that in this good caboose parade here. Nineteen ninety six is sounding really, really crisp and good. Let's 
sounding really, really good. And uh, doing really well on this uh, long length of track here. Uh, I like it uh, going out of that uh, passing siding. I got a little bit of a straight there to straighten out those cars a little bit. It don't go right into a curve, so that's kind of a kind of a nice thing. And then there's a kind of a, again a short uh, that short shoot uh, curve down there. And I don't know, like I say, I may put my may put my bridge in there. I'm thinking thinking about having a bridge on this layout. So, uh, guys, let me know what you think. But uh, Try to pan real slow here so you can see the engine and the caboose is going through the uh, passing siding. And as it comes around the curve one more time, we'll, uh, we adjusted the uh, passing siding to uh, go uh, back uh, onto the uh, main again. So we'll keep everything kind of in a straight line here. We're going to bump up 1996 to about, oh, about 28 speed steps. That engine looks really, really good. I really love the colors uh, on this engine. I uh, haven't got to photograph it or, or videotape it in the reel, but uh, I'm hoping somebody, hoping, I'm hoping someday, <laughs> I'm getting a little excited here, I'm hoping someday to uh, be able to do that. I've, uh, I've uh, been able to film 1982, 1988, uh, 1196, and uh, uh, 1995. I was able to get 1995 uh, out by Pratt, Kansas. And so, uh, got a couple of the heritage units, but I uh, would really, really like to uh, get video uh, with uh, uh, 1996 and uh, uh, 1996 and um, oh, uh, uh, 1989. Uh, the Rio Grande engine. Uh, that's uh, uh, I'd really like to get video with that too. I'm gonna bring uh, 1996 around and. Uh, Kind of uh, put it right here in front of the station here with uh, 1988, 1983, and we'll uh, drop the uh, bell there. And so you guys can get uh, 
see if the camera will focus and let you guys get a a uh, try not to move this camera that much so you guys can get kind of a uh, a steady shot ever you know uh, uh, um, kind of enjoy like I do uh, that the colors that black and red and orange and um, it just has a great blend to it um, and um, it's uh, awesome watching it move but it's also awesome to uh, see it uh, sitting there and uh, so and again this is my uh, 1988 Katie and my uh, 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 Western Pacific 1983 and uh, uh, along with my 1995 I'm I tell you what I'm pretty happy to have these engines and that and again this is uh, this old girl has been with me for a long time. Uh, this is my Southern Pacific 1235. And uh, uh, I uh, put that antenna in and uh, uh, set the holes for it. You can see on this, on this end of the caboose, you can see holes there. Well, when I got to looking at pictures more of 1235, uh, where the antenna was located and what light package that was on the caboose um, I made some slight changes to make it look more like what the real one you know and uh, I believe on the older caboose the stairs are the way the the railing is for the ladder and everything i'm going to say stairs but i meant ladder i think that is pretty well the way they're supposed to be and so uh trying to keep everything you know correct on it as i can so but uh there's my railroad police and uh, then um let's see down down here uh this I might have it on uh, on most my other cars. I've got another another railroad police uh, caboose. But uh, anyway, I wanted to show you guys this and uh, and uh, uh, let you see it uh, and uh, when it was sitting there stopped and and you can see a little bit more better up close shot over here so and so uh but it's a real 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 pretty engine and so um with that i'm going to uh turn the light off here and we'll do a shutdown here so you can hear the shutdown on the on the engine Those uh, SD70 Aces always have a great shutdown uh, to them. So, uh, but anyway, that's my uh, that's my caboose uh, parade uh, uh, video that I wanted to, you guys to see. And uh, I'm gonna do some more videos. I've got uh, I've got my uh, uh, scale trains uh, 4560. Uh, uh, hooked up to my uh, 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 up to my uh, uh, refrigerated cars, and then I've got my uh, 8444 hooked up to my uh, uh, auto racks, and 1995 down there is hooked up to my intermodal. So we will be putting out some more videos here. So just uh, uh, stand by and. Uh, and uh, and uh, we thank you for watching. Uh, and so with that, uh, uh, 
please uh, give us a, uh, a thumbs up and uh, ring that bell and uh, comment in the video uh, what you think uh, on this here. And uh, we'll uh, show you guys a little closer shot of each each caboose here. Again, this is my uh, Rio Grande uh, switch caboose. And I think they said the last place that that caboose was at was possibly in Denver, doing some, doing some stuff there in Denver, maybe. But it might be somewhere else now. But uh, I've always really, I've always liked this, this Micro Trains caboose. It's always been a pretty good one. Added a little weight to it. And that kind of helped the caboose, uh, uh, like when I put it on the end of, uh, end of a train, uh, kind of, uh, help with that, uh, having that little bit of weight in that caboose kind of helps, uh, string that, uh, and pull the, the, uh, looseness of the cars, uh, with that little bit of weight in there. And so that, like again, like I said, again, this caboose is a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice caboose and so over here is my uh, uh, North Platte 401 and uh, there's my UP 24567 that's uh, was used on the uh, uh, steam runs my Mopac caboose not sure what the numbers are on that I think that's 13 676 I think is what that is if I'm reading correctly and then there's my uh, one of my other UP cabooses I think this is a I think that's a uh, uh, oh that's a uh, uh, Blueford Shops, yep. And then that's a this WP four fifty one. That is a Micro Trains. This is an Atherin. I think that's no. That might be a Blueford Shops as well. Uh, the four thousand or the four hundred uh, North Platte four hundred is an Atherin. That's a Blue Blueford Shops transfer. That Mopac is as well. And there is my UP uh, Blueford shops there. This one here on this end, I really, really like that. That's a, that's a Missouri Pacific. You can see the road numbers up on the top and then it also has UP down on the bottom. And I think that's pretty awesome uh, what they've done with this caboose and the colors is just, it just stands out with that orange and gray and red and I mean they just, made it a super looking caboose so but uh, um, um, we thank you again guys for watching and um, uh, trying to get my videos a little shorter but sometimes that don't always happen but uh, 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 but I, uh, I really do enjoy you guys uh, watching this, and uh, and uh, I hope what I'm putting on here is, again, you know, as times before, I hope it's a uh, uh, little bit of entertaining here, and uh, uh, it's neat watching these engines run and have the sound that they do, and, and so we'll just go ahead and start this thing up again. Let's turn that light on.
and we'll pull it forward here when she gets going through her engine sequence now she's ready to move out and we'll move forward a little bit get past that switch over there We get past that switch over there, and we'll just back these cabooses up on that uh, on that parking track. Okay, we're past the turnout over there. Got her in reverse. Now we're going to back these cabooses onto that uh, parking track. And just like that, we parked some cabooses. Just like that. Okay, we're going to shut her down one more time. And with that, guys, we appreciate you watching. Please uh, uh, give us a, a thumbs up, ring that bell, leave us a comment if you want to. We thank you for watching these videos that I put on here. Thanks again, guys. This is Alan. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.